The Salish Sea teems with life. Some call this region the Emerald Sea. Teeny tiny organisms, known as phytoplankton, tint this underwater world green. Here, in the Pacific Northwest, phytoplankton are abundant, turning the sun's energy into food and in the process, create more than 50% of the oxygen we breathe. We are in Edmonds Underwater Park, which has been a marine protected area for more than 50 years. Diving here takes you back in time. It's a local diving hotspot. People come from all over the world to experience the park. With a unique set of underwater trails, a compass, and natural navigation, divers explore 27 acres of park. From north to south and east to west, you will discover shipwrecks, mazes, and unique creations by park stewards. Bruce Higgins and his team of volunteers meet every weekend to enhance the park and maintain the trails named after him. He's been doing this for 45 years. And like jungle gyms on land, Bruce created an underwater playground for divers. In every season at the park, there is so much to explore. The shallow waters of this protected bay host a large eelgrass bed. Eelgrass is a marine plant. The ribbon-like blades flow with the current and absorb sunlight to photosynthesize and create energy. Crabs like to hang out here. Eelgrass has a unique underground root network. The special roots grow horizontally and help trap nutrients, stabilize sediment, and connect the organism over large distances. Coastal seagrass beds are responsible for trapping more atmospheric carbon than rainforests on land. They are essential ecosystems to protect life on Earth. Lingcod are top predators in the park. The best place to find the massive lingcod is at the Lopez pontoon. Dozens hang out waiting for a meal. We call the east side of the Lopez pontoon Lingcod Way. After dining, they slip into one of the dozens of cleaning stations here on the reef. The scaly head sculpin is a cleaner fish. If you see a lingcod resting with its mouth wide open, it's waiting for a cleaner fish to jump in. Just like you brush your teeth, fish need to get clean too. In return, the cleaner fish receives a free meal. Though the scaly head sculpin may not have to worry about the lingcod eating it, it's a fish eat fish world under the sea.
Cabazon, the largest sculpin in the family, means big head in Spanish. You can see why. These fish have huge heads. Lingcod and Cabazon lay large egg masses in the park. The males are the guards of the eggs. After fertilizing the eggs, they ward off any predators, which is basically all the animals in the park. The purple masses under these fellas turn to gold and silver as the eggs develop into fish. As you follow along the trails, you might find a white-spotted greenling guarding a nest of golden eggs. Beware, these guardfish can become aggressive when they feel threatened. They take good care of their eggs to make sure they will hatch, aerating the eggs with fresh water. This also guards off bacteria and algae. Many animals hide in the kelp and the sea lettuce. These ratfish are in the chimera family. They are a cross between bony fish and sharks and rays. They have cartilage and bone for skeletons. Check out how they move. They almost look like they have butterfly wings. Jellies float in the water, wherever the current takes them. Using their bell-shaped medusa, jellies pulse up and down. Made mostly of water, they have no eyes, no ears, no bones, no brains, and yet, they are one of the most voracious ocean predators, using their tentacles to sting their prey. Many float through the park, and some get caught. Who do you think wins this battle? These kelp crabs use their legs and claws to trap the jelly. Now, if only this crab could find a few friends to help him. The giant plumose sea anemones also like to catch their meals. Related to jellies, giant plumose sea anemones are benthic. Anchored to the bottom, they use thousands of tentacles to filter feed anything edible passing by. They look like sea flowers waving to say hello. In the ocean, there's a fine line between life and death. Nothing goes to waste. When large animals die, like this lean cod, they continue to serve life even after they're long gone. Crabs use their strong claws to tear away flesh as every last piece of this fish returns into the ecosystem supporting new life. There is so much to discover in our underwater backyard. To learn more, visit edmundsunderwaterpark.com. Or grab your mask, 
snorkel, and fins to see for yourself.